I got news. I got big news. And I'm going to talk about it as soon as I'm done talking about Sonic Boom. So stick around. So I finally got around to seeing Sonic Boom, the sixth animated adaptation of Sonic the Hedgehog. You think that's enough? So Sonic Boom is supposed to be based on the new video game, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. And I've not played it, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I know all about it. So when this was announced a while ago, a lot of people were commenting on the change in character designs. Well, not so much change in character designs, it's more like they added neckerchiefs for no reason. And people didn't like that. Honestly, it didn't really bother me that much. Um, the bandages on their hands were pretty unnoticeable. The neckerchief was just kind of there. Um, I'm not upset about it, but it doesn't really need to be there, so it's just, it's just kind of a thing that exists. Why they put it there, I'm not sure, but it's there. Doesn't affect anything. Now, there were some noticeable differences from the original designs, but oh my god, what happened to Knuckles? He looks like he's been grinding up Chaos Emeralds into protein shakes. Hey, bro. You lifting, bro? How much you bench, bro? How much you bench? Look, I'm not even that big of a Sonic fan, but I used to love Knuckles. He was my favorite character. I used to play with him all the time with uh, Sonic 3 with the lock-on technology for Sonic and Knuckles. You see this? This was DLC back in the day, man. They did a lot of changes to Amy, too. I think a lot of people didn't really like Amy. Um, she never really bothered me because... I was never that into Sonic X or Sonic Adventure games or anything like that. But I do kind of see where people are coming from with her. However, uh, she seems a little more reserved in this because her whole purpose was to be chasing Sonic. She's just... Don't give her any jokes to tell. It's just, it's not working. Then we have a new character called Styx the Badger, who I actually do kind of like because She's this very feral animal who's always, like, every time something goes wrong, like, she thinks it's like a government conspiracy. It's like, they're trying to read my mind, man! What I don't get is, with the huge, and I mean huge, cast of Sonic the Hedgehog characters to pick from, why did they make a new one? Why couldn't they give one of the other characters that I've never heard of, you know, a chance in the spotlight? I mean... You got so many to pick from, why bother making a new one? Now, see, here's my problem with this show. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's, they try so hard to tell jokes and they try to be funny and they fail so bad. Now, there were funny moments in it, but they were just little moments. Like, the main jokes were just terrible and they fell flat very easily. But there was a lot of moments like they gave uh, they gave Knuckles this thing to read and he was, you know, getting ready to read it and then he took out his reading glasses and he put them on and he was like, oh yeah, I can't read. See, stuff like that was kind of funny. There was a scene where um, Eggman was trying to tell Sonic his plan or whatever and Sonic was really tired and he kept dozing off. So he was spe giving his speech and then he paused to see Sonic was was asleep and then he just slaps him and he wakes him up and then he just continues his speech. See, that was funny. Stuff like that was really funny. The rest of it, I just, oh, it was so cringeworthy. Like, oh, and some of it is just so, such basic humor. It's like Styx is a, you know, she's a feral animal and she eats out of the garbage and she's uncivilized. So let's bring her to a fancy dinner and see what happens. And and then they end up liking her because of because she's you know she has freedom or whatever see stuff like that it's like it's either not funny or it's been done before probably the biggest problem i have with this is that there's no plot there is no plot in this which unfortunately of all the sonic cartoons makes it kin to the adventures of sonic the hedgehog because that show didn't have a plot either 
However, every other version of Sonic had a plot. Sat AM had a plot. Sonic Underground had a plot. It was stupid, but it had a plot. Sonic X had a plot. Sonic the Hedgehog the movie had a plot. Hey, Sonic Boom the video game has a plot. But the show is just like... It's just like... Hey, it's like, hey Sonic, what are we gonna do today? Same thing we do every day, Tails. We're gonna mess with Eggman. And that's what he, and that's what they do. It's either them messing with Eggman, or it's Eggman coming up with some lame, ridiculous scheme to stop him, or whatever. Whatever. What does Eggman do in this? That's the. That's another thing. Like, in all the other Sonic uh, cartoons. Eggman had motivation. He, they, he had a goal. We knew he was the bad guy. In this, he's just like... He's just like a juvenile delinquent. He just shows up. He's like, I'm here with my robots! And then, attack! And that's it. That's it. That's all the show is. There's just too much fluff in this show. And it's just... It's not working. I mean, I don't know what I would have expected from a Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon at this point in time, but... You, got, you gotta give us something more than this. In terms of feel and look, it actually reminds me a lot of uh, the Pac-Man cartoon, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, which, by the way, has a plot that is way too deep and way too dark for Pac-Man. We live in a strange world now. We have a Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon with no plot, and we have a Pac-Man cartoon with too much plot! Hey, you know, now that they're both in Smash Brothers, maybe we can get a collaboration going on. We can have, I don't know, some kind of crossover where the, we can actually get Sonic the Hedgehog and Pac-Man together and we can actually have a Sonic show with a plot or something. Oh wait, Pac-Man's on Disney. Hmm. Never mind, disregard that. Now, I don't hate the show. Like I said before, there were a lot of things about it I liked, but... There's just nothing else to it. I mean, maybe they're setting up for something down the road. Maybe the plot of the game will apply to the show. Um, if that does happen, then maybe I'll change my opinion on it. But as it is right now, it's just... It's very disappointing. Well, that's all I got for Sonic Boom. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the show. And now for my announcement. So, for those of you who have me on Facebook and Twitter, and if you don't, why don't you have me on Facebook and Twitter? But, this is kind of old news, but I'm making this an official announcement right now. I am officially part of the Frederator Network. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Frederator uh, is an animation company. It was, uh, it, their creators are Fairly Odd Parents, Chalk Zone. And, um, little show you might have heard of, it's called Adventure Time, yeah. And they also work with Cartoon Hangover, they help produce Bee and Puppy Cat, and, uh, Bravest Warriors, and all those great shows. And they've been collecting people from YouTube to, uh, work for them, and I got accepted. How awesome is that? I worked for Frederator. But I want to, I want to emphasize how much this means to me, because... I just started out on YouTube this year. I've only been making videos for a couple of months now. I, I just recently got over 100 subscribers. But I've been making videos online for five, so going on six years now, since 2009. And I've been very unnoticed. I, I mean, I've amassed a few fans, a few loyal, awesome fans, don't get me wrong. But I have just been kind of floating amongst the ether by myself for far too long now. I've, uh, I've gotten my videos featured on websites. Uh, I've tried to become part of organizations, you know, content creator organizations, but I've never been able to get my foot in the door. And the biggest blow this year was, uh, and I promise I'll stop talking about this after this video, I used to host my other videos on Blip TV because I can't post them on YouTube for, for copyright reasons. But Blip, uh, over the past year or so, has been systematically deleting people that they find were not good enough. And unfortunately, I was one of those among many other really great content creators, reviewers, entertainers, and whatnot. So, for a long time now, I wasn't good enough to be a part of a lot of groups. 
But I guess I was good enough for Frederator. And to all you people in Frederator who are going to be watching this video, you Freder... Frederites... Fred... Fredhead... Fred... Fredheads! Fredheads! All you Fredheads out there, um, I am here for you. If you need feedback, if you need a voice, if you need ideas, just drop me a line. I'm very approachable. I try to respond to as much stuff as I've been received. Uh, sometimes I get a little forgetful, but I'll try. I will certainly try. I want to be there for you guys. I want to... I want to help, I want to do everything I can. I can't animate, this is all I do at the moment, but whatever you need from me, I'm here for you. So drop me a line, let's talk. And with that, my name is Rob, I'm wonderful, and I am happy to be part of Frederator. See you next time.